Hey Hans, how are you? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done an actual sit down video with you guys and I'm super excited to do today's video. As you can see, stuff's changed, I've got really short hair and I was looking for a wig and I found, a, I come across a Carl Brembridge wigs and guys, like I am so excited about this. So I thought I would kind of just do like an unboxing with you guys and then we can um, talk about the wig, we can pluck the wig and cut the lace. So a little disclaimer thing, I am not a pro at all. I've got one other wig that I've proper cut and everything and I like the way I do it. I think it looks okay. So I thought I'd just share with you guys what I do really and also a bit of a review on it all and see what I look like with long hair again. So if you, if you what? If you like this video please don't forget to like um, this video and if you'd love to subscribe I would love it so much. So um, those that don't know me I do plus size fashion and um, beauty, lifestyle, all that kind of stuff um, and yes yeah, so let's get right into this so i ordered the precious wig and i paid 120 20 pound for it um i'm so excited so as you can see look at the packaging that is so on point so we open it up and here we have kyle like look at that image i love that and then we have little bits in here so let's just see what we've got inside of it first so just got like a little leaflet saying enjoy your wig life and then he comes with some instructions of how to do it so he's saying to plait your own hair obviously i can't um plait it two plaits pin it to um to the nape of the neck and then wrap them around obviously i'm not going to do any of that because i can't um it's also got some other little tips and stuff to do so about wearing a wig cap obviously i don't need to wear a wig cap because the one i've got has got a dark root so actually i'm fine um and to use tweezers to do the hairline which i'll show you how to do and about using makeup and stuff for it so with these wigs you can use heat up to 150 degrees and um, but they are already styled I love the style that I've got it's got a wave in it so I won't be using heat because I don't really want to ruin it but you can use heat for up to 150 and then um, gluing down as well so I actually glue down my other wig and there's no issues with that and i use the got to be glued it's a yellow one i will um insert a little thing here showing you what one um so yeah now onto the actual wig itself so i really wanted as i was going blonde i was like i want to get a blonde wig on so i got this one so it comes in like a little nerd and yeah oh my god i love it so much it's all pre-styled in this wavy look which i'm loving let me just show you a close-up of the hairline because it's actually just so good so here's a close-up of the hairline which is just really good i'm just gonna do a little bit of plucking but actually it doesn't need that much so the lace itself is actually just a frontal um a front lace um so you ha actually have tracks in the back so i have got one other proper one that i wear and then i've also got another one i can tell you by far this is the best kind of one because the laces on the tracks are literally so small my other two they're a little bit chunkier and they look i don't know it just looks a bit bigger on your head so yeah oh so the wig itself inside has actually got two clips at the side here to help grip and you've also got one here on the front of it as well. It also has these two little straps. So these straps you do up on the base of it to here and it that like you can change how tight of it. So if you've got a smaller head size that'd be perfect. 
um, because you can yeah tighten it up so I like mine quite tight because I like to feel it's really secure um yeah I just prefer to have it tighter so to actually apply you need to kind of like put your head into it I see a lot of people like putting on the wrong way and um if you want it to get like the perfect fit you need to put your head into it so let me just grab my mirror so if i'm going to pop it on now so to do that hold the front there hold the back and then pop your head in so and then all you need to do is straighten it up like so so like that oh my god how different do i look i'm fucking catfishing now so, and then it's just a case of just making it, oh, pulled it down too far then, had a hairline in my thing. Um, make sure your ears are popped out as well. And then you pull it from the back and again, just tighten it. So if you had a wig uh, cap on now, now you could go on and secure it properly with the clips inside. As I don't wear one, I miss this step. So this is it on, um, obviously I haven't trimmed the lace or anything, it's so, oh my god look how different I look guys, I'm just going to be catfishing all over Instagram later, um, so yeah I'm going to, what I like to do is actually take it off to cut it, I think they recommend to cut it on your head but for me personally I just like to take it off so I'm going to take it off now, pluck some bits and then we will go from there. And to take it off is so easy. Just like that, hands. So, first things first is plucking the hairline. So, you want to be able to, I don't know, kind of see a little bit underneath. Um, not like majorly, but on this wig a little bit. It just kind of looks not like a natural hairline. That's what I'm going to say. So, I've just got some tweezers. And what you do is you just gently go in and just pick out the hair, but like very, very gently. I'll show you a close up of what I'm doing. So, as you can see, I inserted a clip. Bear in mind, I'm in lockdown, excuse the nails, and also I was having to get my six year old to hold my phone while filming that. A little bit difficult, guys, so I hope you were unable to understand what I was kind of doing. So, I'm now just going to do that the same thing down the side. So, to do this, I like to leave. Um, a few centimetres I work with so I've just kind of brushed my wig and then take off a few centimetres along the front and then that is the area that I will be plucking um, just to try and soften it all up a little bit so I'm just going to crack on with that So now I've done that both sides, you won't be able to see it this far away from the camera but when I do a close up later you'll be able to see what I've done. It just kind of softens it all a little bit around the front, I've given her a bit of a brush, loving the look. Now it's on to cutting the lace. This is the most important bit. Before I made a mistake and just went straight along and I've learned since then, I've listened to other people and you really need to do little cuts but jagged. That is the main important thing. Just pop your finger around it like that and then just go tiny little cuts like that. By having that jagged edge you will be able to blend it in so much easier to your natural hair so I'm just going to crack on and cut mine so this is the end result as you can see it's really jagged but actually when it goes on your hair 
like it blends so much better so now we've cut the lace we've blended the hairline now is actually time to pull it on what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop it on obviously show you guys and then i'm gonna take a few close-up pictures and insert them just because i feel like with my camera you can see but with my iphone i've got the 11 max whatever and it would be so much more detailed and I really want you guys to see what it blends like and everything. So to brush it as well, I really recommend the wet brush. It's like the perfect brush for anything extensionist or anything. And also remember, especially along the front of the hairline, that um, these are like sewn in individually kind of. So when you're brushing it, you really need to start from the bottom and work your way up. If not, and if you're too rough, you could potentially lose and shred quite a lot of hair, which is obviously something you don't want to do. I learned that because the other person who I brought off wig off, um, that was their kind of guidance as well. So that's where I picked up that little tip and actually it makes so much bloody sense really. So let's just pop this on. And the, oh, a bit far forward, hun. And then put it back. Oh my god, I'm in love. I can't even tell you how much I'm in love. So let me just check my mirror. And that is that. I, oh guys, I love it. Like, let's be fair. So, if I did want to glue this down, I would... Hello? So sorry guys, my phone's bitch have been going crazy today. All this corona, can't open till 4th of July. Everyone's like, ah! Um, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, so, and to glue it down, I would use a got to be glue, which is a yellow tube. I will insert a picture now. And I would pop little dots around my hairline and then I dry it and then I would then place it on dry it with a hairdryer and get like a band or like a cord like a dressing gown cord and pop it around there and tie it quite tight and just really making sure it's bonded really well and to be fair I don't need to I don't personally think so such a little bit too far back so let shake the hair and see what happens ready oh my god so as like that has not moved apart from it's just got even more puffy it hasn't moved right to the side oh, i feel dizzy oh god apart from mess my hair up has not moved okay so i pulled it quite hard it did move. Let's like be more realistic. Doesn't move. If you get in a cat fight, it probably would move. Just gonna say that. But guys, I'm in love. So to start with, me personally, I don't think I'm gonna do much other than that sometimes. Um I think this is all I'm actually gonna do but just because I love the styling and I'm so lazy when it comes to hair like I don't think you guys quite understand how lazy I can be um so yeah I'm absolutely in love the only other thing I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do this off camera or I'm gonna get my friend Jess to do it is just kind of cut some baby hairs in oh look oh look at that guys oh i love that star um which is literally just getting the few front bits and the way i did it on one of my wigs was to get a razor like a little face razor and i just kind of razored it a little bit and it gave the appearance of some baby hairs i don't want to overdo all the baby hairs and everything like that i think as well for me um everyone knows i shave my head so they're gonna know that this is a wig um obviously i don't want it to look wiggy and i want other people who saw me in the street not to realize but i just think yeah 
you get what I mean? Um, so, the only thing I would say is obviously my sideburns, they are a bit longer, but obviously, yeah, other people would be just pinning them back, but because mine are quite short, well, shorter, they're growing more down, um, so I just need to kind of sort that out a little bit. I'm going to do something to that. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm loving it. It's giving me feelings. I feel amazing um and also i'm just gonna say i don't feel really really hot i am that kind of person that can't wear hats like, i feel claustrophobic and everything and to be fair i don't um i do think if it was a sunny day i would and i think anybody would um so yeah i just kind of want to put that out there but i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and yeah, if you liked it, then please subscribe. Let me know what other ones you want to do. Uh, what other ones you want to do. What other ones you want me to do. Any feedback. Love it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.